Welcome Ramadan stories, Inam stories. My name is Inam. How have you been? I've gotten a shave. I feel really good about today's story. This is season one, Solpa Jasi presents episode 36. Abraham and uh, his tryst with the idols, the city of idols. <coughs> oh my god, it just fell down. Okay, so. Let us begin with the story after this short message. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's begin with the story. Let me take you back to Mesopotamia, long back Saudi Arabia that is there, long back that place was called Mesopotamia, I hope I'm getting that right. So in that place there was this city and in that city there was the king and the name of the king is Nimrod, okay. So Nimrod was a king and uh, and in his kingdom, there was one uh, maker of all the idols that were present. And that idol's idol maker's name is Azar. And Azar had a son. And his name is Abraham. And this is the story of that young Abraham. Daily business daily day of this young Abraham was this that the father used to make the idols and he used to give it to all the sons and uh, Abraham was one of the sons and Abraham used to go sell it now easy no it's a bit complicated you know why he didn't want to do that he is like what I'm not understanding this and you know the way he used to sell also was uh, who wants to buy the God that will not help you? Do you want to buy a God that is not going to protect you? Are you going to buy? Basically, he used to be very frustrated at his job. Let's put it in that way. Okay. Months passed on. The frustration just got in more and more. Now, what is that frustration? As time passes, you'll get to know. On one night, he had an heated argument, argument with his father, with his great father, Azar. So he said, you know, I don't, I don't get this. What is it? What is it that I have to uh, believe in these idols? I don't believe in these idols. You are making it. Some human is making this idol. Why should I worship this idol? I don't want to. And I don't get it why people do it. It's just crazy. His father, being a religious person, I guess, he just said, you know, get out of this house. Don't you dare come back until you learn some respect on everything around you. Now, you have to understand that's his daily business. And father felt disrespected from the son. Now, time went by, uh, Abraham was like, you know, I cannot get it. I'm going to be on my own. And he goes about doing odd jobs. And until one day, <laughs> an interesting thing happened. So in the city, there is festival that is going on. Okay. And that festival, what is that festival? The festival was the festival of idols, wherein all the idols are placed and are worshipped and are celebrated. Now he goes there and he just asks all the people there, you know, what is wrong with you? What, 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 what do these people do? What, what do these idols do? I being, I selling these idols, I've gone dip them in the water, in the ocean, ask them to drink water. They have not drunk water. Slap them. They have not told me anything. Like, speak to me or help me. They have not helped. What's the point? And all the people who hear this, they're just angry. They say, 
but they don't have a proper answer they say it is a way of our forefathers so what they have done we are continuing with a tradition now continuing with the tradition he said ah bs i just don't get this what you people do now everybody goes away abraham is left there as a caretaker of the idols obviously and what does uh, abraham do he goes and he just uh, plays with all the idols that are present plays with them all the idols then he starts uh, getting frustrated with his thoughts you know i just don't get it there is a maker that is supreme the supreme being the one that cannot be seen the one that cannot be heard the one that cannot be touched the one that is greater that is beyond the human sense and that is my supreme being i don't get these things these things are by humans what are you and he is speaking to all these idols and he just gets so frustrated he takes an axe and he goes chop chop he takes on axe and he's like chop 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 he cuts away all the statues that are there and what does he do next very smart this person is he takes the axe and he goes keeps in the chief god god's hand and he ties the axe up okay now he goes off people return and they see they like are you seeing this I, i'm i'm completely oh my god everything is tattered and shattered and all of them just had one name in their mind that who would do this abraham they screamed they got abraham they questioned him did you do this abraham heard all the blasts that came to him he said what me no it is the chief god the chief god got jealous of all the other gods and he took the axe and he you know cut them all off everybody just gets irritated they say you know they cannot strike they cannot do anything they are lifeless he says exactly and you are worshiping them this is what i wanted to show that you are coming you have to come to your senses so he he just what happens to him next is very interesting he gets tied up and he take he's taken to the king's court and at the king's court king nimrod is speaking to him and uh, the king says do you feel ashamed what is this and what is this mighty god that you speak of he says my lord has the creation and execution of life to which the king says you know what i have it too if there is a guilty man i have the power to make him innocent and if there is a innocent man i have the power to kill him so i am the god he says no no uh, not like my god you know my god he rises the sun from the east can you if you say that you are god can you make the sun rise from the west can you do that oh lord he just king listens to this and he is just angry and he just gets irritated and he just goes in ballistic he says take him through the fire tied up with the strongest ropes and let's burn him they go they tie him with the tightest rope the most meanest rope that there is they put and they engulf in flames and everybody stands there and the king says watch for the disbeliever and some magical thing happens the flame was enough to cut away the ropes and not to hurt abraham as they saw that abraham is being protected by some outer being that is there are angels protecting abraham seeing this the flames that were engulfed completely do no harm 
and after that incident abraham is not dared touched upon by the king or anybody and at that moment abraham decides that he will set out for the west with his journey to spread his tenets of faith one of the major tenets that are followed to even now as a by product in the religion of islam where muslims follow this and uh, it's the tenets of idol worship so that's how he set out on the journey this is the story of the famous prophet uh, abraham that started the cycle of prophets coming in and on that note the story is the end to hear and this has been the ramadan special assalamu alaikum to everybody and hope you have a good ramzan time this has been season 1 episode 36 abraham and the city of idols and i will see you in the next episode until then you can see me